What's up everyone? I just got in the Tony Systems Bible for my Beretta 92X Performance. I want to do a quick initial impressions video as well as go over some magazine extension compatibility issues I've been having with the Tony Systems Bagwell. I want to give a shout out to Team Beretta Shooter, Ben Hart, who actually sent me over the Tony Systems Magwell to test out, so you can check him out on Instagram. Alright, quick note everyone, when you're installing the Tony Systems Magwell on your Beretta 92X Performance, it comes with a screw in your hammer spring cap. Make sure you remove the screw before you try to punch in your uh, retaining pin for the hammer spring cap because if you don't, you're going to do what I did and you're going to mash up the threading. Oh man, look at that. You're going to mash up the threading right there on the other side to try to drive the pin out not knowing the screw is in there. Alright, so this is what it looks like with the Tony Systems Magwell installed. I like all the red because it's the color themes of Cobra. And my initial impressions of the Magwell, um, it's a little bit small. But uh, it is supposed to be because this is, I think, it's their IDPA magwall. It's not their open magwall. But I like how it curves out in the front like there. You can see that because the grip profile of the bread is a little bit shorter than, say, CZ's. So when I grab it with my ginormous hands, my pinky usually hangs off the front edge of that right there. And by having a little, uh, a little area of the magwall there where my pinky can actually ride up and push my fingers up into the trigger guard, area it actually feels and looks pretty nice so pretty excited to get this up to the range um and there are some compatibility issues with my spring precision base pads that i'll show you in just a second but overall first impressions this looks pretty cool okay so i got the springer precision base pad on the left and i got the tony systems base pad on the right you can actually see how much slimmer the tony systems base pad is than the springer precision um back profile you can actually see there uh it's a little bit slimmer also on the sides, it's slimmer. I did notice I was having problems with the spring precision base pad with this magwell. That if I didn't, if I didn't jam it in hard uh, like that, if I just kind of jammed it in casually like that. It's not going to lock. Um, I think the binding area is in the yeah. I can see it. the binding area is in the back there. So kind of be aware if you want to use spring precision base pads with the Tony Systems magwell, uh, you'll probably have to modify the magwell the back which i have not done yet because i literally just got this today but yeah even there that that was a pretty good shove that's not seated in there it has to really it has to really get in there and then it kind of locks it in place whereas the tony system tony systems ones are made for that um because the funnel on this is uh, a little bit narrower than what i'm used to i like having more open funnels but this is a concealed carry idpa magwell that's been lightened so I just kind of be aware that if you want to use your Springer Precision base pads with the Tony Simpsons with Magwell, you cannot without modification. You need to get the Tony Systems base pads.